Hi, I'm Chris Jager from the Department of Urology at Mayo Clinic. I'd like to thank BJU International for letting us uh, present our data and selecting it as the article of the week uh, for their February 2014 issue. I'd like to share with you our findings uh, where we looked at men with BPH and chronic urinary retention um, and found that up to 99% of men could be rendered catheter free with homeum laser enucleation of the prostate compared to 74% with photoselective vaporization of the prostate. Historically, urinary retention affects up to 25% of men undergoing surgical intervention for BPH. Surgical therapy for BPH and incomplete bladder emptying uh, has been shown to decrease residual urine adequately, uh, thus allowing patients to discontinue catheterization and void spontaneously. Unfortunately, prior studies quote a 9 to 11 percent chance of needing ongoing catheterization following surgery with less optimal outcomes. While acute retention has been studied previously, chronic retention or refractory retention is not, with few studies specific to men with chronic retention. We sought to compare outcomes of patients undergoing hole up and PVP with chronic urinary retention. By retrospectively reviewing all of our patients uh, who underwent whole upper PVP over a three-year time period. Chronic retention was defined as a post-void residual of greater than 300 milliliters on multiple documented ultrasound measurements and refractory retention as inability to void despite multiple voiding trials. Catheterization duration was at least one month in all patients and exclusion criteria included prostate cancer, prior BPH surgery, history of urethral stricture, or neurogenic bladder with a secondary cause. Overall, 72 patients underwent HOLEP and 31 PVP. In those that could void, groups were similar in terms of age, AUA symptom index score, peak urinary flow, and residual urine. A larger prostate volume and higher median PSA value were observed in the HOLEP group. At a median follow-up of six months, both groups had seen an improvement in urinary parameters. 99% of patients were able to void with low post-void residuals to stop catheterization in the whole lip group. 74% of patients were able to stop in the PVP group. Of those able to void, AUA symptom index, peak flow, and post-void residual were similar between groups, although a trend toward better AUA symptom index was noted in the whole lip group. No major complications were noted. In conclusion, we found that both HOLEP and PVP were effective at improving urinary parameters in men with BPH and chronic urinary retention, with HOLEP uh, rendering 99% of patients catheter-free at six months median follow-up.